you consider yourself an artist, now is your chance to bring your art to our area. It's happening in your community, the Urbana Arts and Culture Program Arts Grants. Rachel Storm is here with all of the details, so this is an exciting opportunity for those artists in Urbana. Absolutely. Illinois. Yeah, we love being able to support the arts and people who want to put on arts events within the city. Now, you guys have, uh, as I understand it, a, a, a pool of money that you're yes. distributing to people. <laughs> uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. Um, who, people who are doing art, but in a, in a public way. To That's right. Sort of how yeah. this works. Absolutely. So, the city of Urbana is home to Urbana's Arts and Culture Program. And we're in our, I think, 11th year. So, it's a very exciting time yeah. for us. Our arts grant program has existed for about as long as our program has. It was one of the first initiatives that came out of the task force and then later the arts commission um, but the arts uh, grant program we give out eighty thousand dollars in grant awards annually and we have three different categories so one is tier one tier two and tier three so tier one is the smaller grants these are anywhere between five hundred and fifteen hundred dollars um, tier two are um, twenty five hundred dollars to four thousand dollars excuse me no two thousand dollars to forty five hundred mm -hmm. and tier three is the five to ten thousand dollar grant awards and they really can fund as you said anything that takes place within the city of Urbana, that's of course a big stipulation for us. Um, sometimes we have prog projects that have like maybe a portion of what they do that's outside of the city of Urbana, but the majority of the project, the very most important parts of the project need to take place within Urbana. Um, it does need to be a public arts project. And what we mean when we say that is something that is um, consumable by the public, that it is something that is free and open typically for the public, um, that it is something that um, maybe brings the community together. When we are evaluating projects, we look at three things. We look at arts, um, artistic quality, we look at community integration, and then the feasibility of the project. And when we look for community integration, we're looking at like, how does it speak to the needs of diverse audiences in Urbana? How are we like bringing more and more people into the arts scene? Um, how are we giving more people exposure to the arts through the program? So we do want things that are public facing. Do you have a way to make that tangible in, in, in that yeah. you have an example from oh, somebody yeah. in the past of yes. who's, who's gotten a grant? So many examples. <laughs> yeah, pick your favorite. Absolutely. Well, we have a lot of examples. Um, I will say that, um, you know, for some of our big things that you'll recognize, things are like Sweet Corn Festival, CU Folk and Roots Festival, um, are some of our mid-sized programs that we do a lot is a Heartland Maker Fest. Um, we've done things like the CU Black and African Arts Festival, West African Drum and da Dance Festival, but we also do smaller things like an art exhibit or a series of, of programs. Um, one of, one just delightful one this past year was um, a series of um, art workshops for seniors. And so there's lots of different kinds of things that are done through the arts program and typically what a grantor gets asked is what kind of what kind of projects get funded right, right? Um, and the thing that I delight in saying about the arts program is that there is no particular project that gets funded um, what we look for each year is a repertoire of like very diverse projects that we can fund um, and so we like new and inventive ideas and we like it to seed projects that hopefully grow and go for bigger grants you know from state agencies right. or federal agencies right yeah right. you've got right. the schools forward. involved too that's in right. your tier one so that's mm -hmm. exciting for them yeah so we have this specific award called arts in the schools so you have to be collaborating with an urbana school district 116 school and it has to take place during the school hours because it's supposed to enrich what is happening curriculum wise at the school i would imagine there are a few people who've heard this now and go "Ooh, mm -hmm. i actually have some ideas this could come in really handy but what process do they need to go through to, to qualify um so there is a very simple application i think it's pretty simple for the most part <laughs> i warn people don't get overwhelmed it's actually quite simple um, but you do download an application you can find guidelines at our website that's urbana illinois.us backslash arts grants um, i am typically available through email or phone and i this is about the time i start getting questions. I wouldn't say I get overwhelmed with applications till the day they're due. Which <laughs> is January the 15th, right? That's so correct. That is not very many days away. That's correct. So get your applications in. Um, but in general, I try to make myself as available as I can to answer questions or give people feedback. The, the brilliant thing for me is I'm not a voting member, so I can help as much as possible, just get those applications ready before they go before a jury. So people shouldn't be trying to bribe you is what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, they can't bribe okay. me. Okay. <laughs> They can try, which I'm sure is a fine one. Yeah, all right, Urbana is just always so artsy. And Urbana beautiful. loves the arts. Yep. <laughs> all right, we'll have all the details on how you can learn more about the Urbana Arts Grants over on sailliving.tv.